for the project I call it Wooga and you only need to open up this file called compose mail Wooga 5 so in this file I already listed down the steps to run the, the, the file so you need to install tech UI download the CSV into the folder of the project so for example if you're probably on a Windows environment then you would have installed the tech UI inside this C drive RPA tech UI then you can put your flow in this folder okay then you need to use a VS code editor every day when you receive the file after you throw the CSV file into this particular folder you throw the CS you throw the CSV file into this folder let's say today is the 13th you put it here and then you just need to make sure that it's in this tech UI flow folder and the next thing you need to do is you may need to prepare your tech UI browser for the saving of the password and the login this one I think I will show it to you when I meet you and what you need to do is you just need to go to command prompt you if you launch command prompt normally you are not there yet so you just go to CD the particular folder so in my case it's a Mac so it's like that then after that just type tech UI followed by the file name so the file name currently is compose and I'll just tap it here okay then you launch its own browser over here let me just resize it a bit okay so it is uh, taking all the files and then it opens up uh, a copy of the a copy of the CSV because it is reading all the data here so I take it away then it will then try to compose the mail so it will send it to whoever is in the intended audience so in this case uh, it did all that thing in a very quick way so the first thing you need to do is you need to edit the file name manually over here okay and change the change the date to 14 or something okay then you will read all the data you will detect the length of the file automatically then you will store all these variables that are inside this particular CSV in the respective columns then you open up the Gmail which is what it's doing here and then you will do a loop from 0 to this file length minus 2 then I use JavaScript to do the current date compose so this click compose is actually click on this thing here then you will type in so in this case there is no two because I commented out the two two lines to comment out so it will only send to the CC so type this CC to this email okay then the, the type in this subject box is forward this okay with all this data at the back then I did a series this one you don't have to edit you just need it alone uh, then I did a little wait time so that there is in case the internet is slow then after that uh, it, the wait time will allow you to run the file properly and then finally it will click on the send button which is this send button here okay and then uh, that's it then you just the loop through from the, the CSV file from the zero value to that length minus two okay so it's, it's doing all this uh, automatically okay so it, assuming that it has already finished the job let's say I, I don't want to run anymore okay I will do a control break and then let's say I want to do it real fast then you just type with a hyphen T uh, ignore the, the error messages it's okay so now it will send the email in the same manner okay so as you're running this try not to touch the the computer because it's, it requires the, the full control over the, the mouse and the browser to do all this very quickly so it's sending all the emails in superhuman speed uh, faster than your old UI path project and it should be accurate lah. so you just take note that there is a, a way to run the file really fast I just let it run finish and see how long it takes to send these 30 over emails okay so it's done I think in, in 60 seconds it managed to send out 35 uh, roughly 35 emails